Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how I set up my petrol engine ignition switch on EFOS. So this video has come about because I had a question on another video from Philip Royf about how to set up retractable landing gear and ignition using EFOS. He was struggling a bit because he couldn't actually see a mix for it. And if you have EFOS and you go into the new mix settings, you can see that there's a load of different ones by default. But not everything has a mix. A lot of these things are just basically control surfaces or throttle to control surfaces, that sort of thing. But there are a couple of mixes that we can use for just general functions. And what we're going to use today is called the free mix. And we can use that just on a switch and just send that to the receiver to do what we want. So we can use that for anything like retracts, flaps, ignition. A whole range of things but the way i'm doing it is slightly different so i'm going to rather than just showing how to assign a switch i'm going to show the, the method that i use so the way i have mine set up is i have this switch at the back the two position as a throttle cut and i have this momentary switch at the back as my ignition switch you can set it up on a three position switch, which is really simple, but I'm sort of at the school of if it's got three positions, the ignition only needs two positions, it's a waste. So I try and use what I can the most efficiently. And, you know, I'm not using this much at all. The way I fly, I can't really get to them in flight because I'm a sort of hybrid pincher. So I can't actually reach these buttons while I'm flying anyway. So I might as well make it a function when I'm on the ground. So the way that mine works is no matter what the throttle cut position, I can turn the ignition on or off with this switch. So if I press it once, it turns it on. If I press it again, it turns it off. If I'm armed and the ignition is on, as soon as I disarm, it will turn the ignition off as well. So it's just that added bit of safety. What I'll do is I'll go through, I'll show firstly how we can just do a free mix and send a switch over if you just want a simple on off switch and then I'll get into how I've got mine set up here. Okay so for the purpose of this video I'm not going to have space to put a 30cc plane on the desk so I'm using a servo to show the ignition position. So uh, just to show you mine working obviously I can't really show the button underneath as well. Ignition on. So ignition on. Ignition off. Ignition on. So now I'll turn the throttle cut on ignition off. and it disarms and turns the ignition off. So that's an example of my ignition working. But first, what I'll do is just show you how you can do this with a basic switch. So we'll go into mixer and I'm just going to add a mix. What we're going to do is use the free mix, which basically means we can do whatever we want with it. So I will give this the name ignition. And what we're going to do is just assign a switch. So I'll put it on SC and we will assign it to the output. So I already have an output for ignition, so I'll put it on there. So now you can see that we have our free position switched. So you can use this for anything. Like I mentioned, you could set it up as flaps, as landing gear. It's just a free position switch going out to your receiver. Now, if you're using a free position switch, what you might want is just one position to be on and the other positions to be off or vice versa. So to do that, we can add a curve. So we can just go into the drop down arrow, click add a curve. You, we'll give it a quick name. We'll just call it IG. <laughs> um, and we'll give it a three point curve. So we've got custom three points and then we can just go to edit. So what we could do, for example, is have one position on and two positions off. So it's easy to um, switch. So we want one to minus 100, the other side to plus 100 and just continue that at plus 100. So now we'll have one position and two positions the opposite. So you, you'll obviously need to reverse this depending on which way around you want it to work and the position where your ignition is on and off on the aircraft. But that is a basic way to do the ignition switch with just using a normal switch. And I will now show you how I've done my ignition switch. So you can see this is already my model, it's already set up. So I'll just go through how I've created it. Now, 
The first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the throttle because, as I mentioned, when the throttle cut uh, is active, it turns the ignition off. So all you need to do is check what you've got um, for your throttle cut. In a lot of cases, you may just have a switch position here, but I've set up some logic to say when it's armed and not armed. So if I put it in the arm position, you can see that now that is no longer highlighted, so the throttle is active. And if I put it in the disarm position, disarmed. the throttle is no longer active. We have the red line along the bottom. So what you need is when that is uh, bold, um, so that means disarmed. that that is active. That is what you need to make note of for this, this to work. So what we'll do is we'll jump out of here and we'll have a look at the logic. So before I go any further, I sort of need to explain a little bit about my throttle cut. So you saw that um, mine is based on this armed logic switch here, and this is just a sticky. So for me, the, the condition to switch the sticky off is, armed. is always having that switch in the forwards position towards me. So SF down is my disarmed position switch. So what we have for the ignition is these two first logical switches. Now we're going to have a look at logical switch two first, which you can see is called ignition off. Now this defines the state to turn the ignition off and it's quite a simple or switch. So we have SI down, which is the button at the back. I'm going to just turn the sound off for a second. So you can see when I hold that switch down, it activates that. So whenever that is pressed, it, it will trigger this OR. And also we have SF in the towards me position, which is the throttle cut active. And you see this little line with a, a line through it next to it. That means that it's an edge. So if you hold down the button, at that point you can go to edge and turn that on what that means is it will only do it when it first activates that switch position it just flashes it so it's not on all the time and the last thing that we need to do is set ignition now you won't be able to do this yet because we've not actually written that logical switch so what we need to do is pop back out here and then we can see logical switch one is called ignition so if I edit that, you can see that this is a really basic one. It's just a sticky and it uses the put SI button behind the transmitter as the on and it uses the ignition off logical switch to turn it off. Once you've written that one, you can pop back into ignition off and add ignition in the active position so what that means is it will only trigger the ignition off when the ignition is on so if the ignition is off if i click it once you can see it then turns the ignition on and if i click it again it turns the ignition off for some reason this logical switch 2 seems to be flashing you know backwards it doesn't seem to be working correctly because it shouldn't be activating when the ignition is off and also if I turn the ignition on and then disarm, it will turn the ignition off as well. So other than that, all I've done is add some special functions for the sounds. So I have when the ignition sticky is active, there's an ignition on sound played. And when the ignition is no longer active, there's an ignition off played. And both of these are basically the same. It's just enabled. We're using the logical switch to um, trigger it and then we have our sound which is played once and we skip it on startup so it's nice and simple and the final part to this is once we have our logic is to assign it to a mix so again we will just create a free mix like we did for the switch and all we need to do is set the source as our ignition logical switch that's all we need all we're doing so logical switch is ignition so if I pop all the way down the bottom, you can see our channel working at the moment. Our ignition is off. Turn it on. We get 100%. Turn it off. 
we get minus 100%. Again, if this is the wrong way around for your ignition and you find that it's on when you want it off, all you need to do is reverse that and it will work just right for you guys. So I hope you all found this video useful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, as that will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.